List is a data type in Python that allows you to store a collection of data items. And so let's begin. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your Python terminal and let's create a list. Let's say that I call the list A equal and then a list will have to be specified by using the bracket so i have a opening and closing bracket and then the contents of the list let's say that i want to put in numbers i'll do one two three four five and then enter and if i type in a it will allow me to return the contents of the list and if i want to specifically display a specific element in the list i could do that using a bracket let me show you I type in a which is the name of the variable a and i'll have a bracket opening and closing and i'll put in the number and so python usually start with the number index of zero and let's put in zero and then I'll get the first element. And if I do a bracket one, I'll get the second element. And if I do a minus one, I'll get the last element. And if I do a minus two, I'll get the second to last element. So this would be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Or if you're starting from the beginning, it is zero, one, two, three, four. Let's say that I want to add a new element into the list. How can I do that? Well, I could type in a, which is the name of the variable. And then I'll put in a pen, opening and closing parenthesis. And then I'll put in a number, six, and let's see what happens. So you see here that I added a new element to the list, which is number six. And let's say that I want to add another number into the list. How can I do that? Let's say I want to add a number zero right here. Let me do that. I'll do a dot insert opening and closing parenthesis. And then I'll specify the index number where I want the new number to go. Let's say that I want it to go at the at the last element here. I'll type in minus one comma and then I'll type in the number that I want to add. And so that would be number zero. Let's see. Okay, so apparently I cannot do that. Let me do it again. And so as you can see here, using minus one doesn't work in this case. And so in order to make it work, you'll have to type a dot insert and then the specific position that you want to insert it. But because we want to add it to the end, we'll have to specify the length of the variable a and then the number that we want to add. You can see here now that we added the number zero to the end of the list. And so what essentially this will do is it will return the number of element in the list. So length of A means that we had one, two, three, four, five, six. And so there are six element. And so this will return to a number of six and it will add the number zero to the sixth position. Okay. And so let's say that I want to remove the number zero here. I have two ways of removing it. The first way, let me show you a dot remove zero closing parenthesis so a dot remove will remove number zero when it searches the list whenever it encounters the number zero it will delete that one but then notice here that it's not deleting every element containing the number zero and so it's deleting only the first zero that it sees and so in order to delete the second one you have to do it again Okay, so remove will essentially search for the item that you want it to be removed. And whenever it found it, it will remove it. Another way of removing an element from the list is to use the pop command. Let me show you. Let's say I use pop minus one. And so you notice here that minus one is the index number. And so minus one is the last element. And so when it removes the last element, it will print it out as well. But then notice that in the above function of remove, it will quietly search and remove the number. But then for pop function, it will remove it, but then also printing out the value that it has removed. And so you could decide on which one you want in your own coding projects. So if you wanted to remove it silently then you could use the remove and then you specify the exact numbers that you want it to be removed or the strings that you want to be removed but notice here that zero here is not an index number zero is the number zero but then for pop you have to specify the index number okay so let's say i do a dot pop zero it will remove the first element. So it has nothing to do with the number zero shown earlier. And let's have a look at the content of the list again. And now we have deleted the first element. And now we have two, three, four, five. And let's say that I want to add another list into the existing list. How can I do that? A dot extend. And then I'll add numbers six, seven, eight, nine. 
Let's have a look again. And so you see that I have extended the list with the number six, seven, eight, nine. So essentially I have added another list, the elements of a new list into the existing list shown at the left part here. And now we have numbers two through nine. And so congratulations. In this video, you have learned about how to create lists, how to work with lists. Particularly, you have already learned how to create it. You have learned how to slice and select the specific position in the list to be displayed. You have learned to add a single element to the list. You have also learned how to use the insert function to add a element, a new element into a particular position in the list. You have also learned how to search and remove a specific element using the remove function where it searches the specified number or string if you want and then removes it quietly or you could use the pop function whereby you specify the index number and then it will remove the element while also printing out the element value. And then finally, we have also learned how we could extend the existing list with elements of a new list. And so please stay tuned for the next episode of this Python tutorial series. And if you're finding value in this video, please smash the like button for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding!